Cloud technology is part of the digital revolution which continues to transform our lives. Now the MP for Haven't, Alan Mack, has launched a scheme looking ahead to the next big thing. Our political editor, Peter Henley, has been finding out more. In a corner of a Hampshire industrial estate, a quiet revolution is underway. This robot 3D printer is literally breaking the mould, making machine parts that aren't designed and then churned out by the million, but constantly improved and redesigned by computers as data on their use comes in. Going through about 30 different versions of a part in a couple of days, um, it's absolutely incredible. It, you can shorten a process of, of developing a product down to a couple of weeks that might have taken a couple of months before and a lot more money. The use of big data is key to what's being called the fourth industrial revolution, the potential of computers to crunch huge amounts of information to make continual improvement. At the moment we put a stamp on an envelope and just have to hope that it will get there in time, but what if you were able to track every single piece of mail individually using artificial intelligence, that's a system currently being tested in the Portsmouth area. The data processing skills were developed by an aerospace company building drone aircraft. They've been applied to getting every parcel to each address at the time it's needed. So Lockheed Martin is using artificial intelligence and big data to try and help Royal Mail make sure they deliver parcels from the warehouse and the factory to people's homes. So it actually has a real life application, making life better for people in the real world. As well as speeding up their deliveries, MP Alan Mack believes getting ahead of the curve will give local companies huge opportunities for growth. 270 jobs were lost this Incredible. month when one local employer, Pfizer, decided to move abroad. In a global economy, you can't ignore the pace of technological change. Peter Henley, BBC South Today, Havlet.